Alright Sean, so I'm going to show you how to make one of these little Star Wars guys. Pretty basic, a Lego head helmet, or both, a head and a helmet, with a hole through it. Push it down, it's got a little body. So with the white ones, or the 550 paracord, I find 20 inches is the perfect length for a short loop, a Darth Vader size loop which is a little bigger than my thumb. So what I do, once it's cut, fold it in half, and then I start with your basic snake knot. So left goes over right, and in behind, so you have a hole, and then the one that's on the right goes in behind that strand, and through the hole. and then it's just a matter of cinching it up. Now again with the 20 inch cord I like to have a loop that size so what I do is I stick my thumb and I just kinda wiggle my way up to where I like it which is about there and from there nice and tight and this is going to be in behind the helmet so, we have three more to do. So again, left over right, make a hole, right in behind that piece, and then through the hole and down. And then just cinch it up. But because the arms go through this section, we're not going to put this one super tight. We're just going to leave it kind of loosey-goosey. And then we've got two more to do. Left over right in behind, and then the one on the right goes in behind and through the hole. And then cinch it up. And same thing, one more time. Gets a little tricky near the bottom with these big fingers of mine, but I do what I can. There we go. And again, it doesn't have to be super pretty right now because we're just getting the rough outline done, if you like. So. Now we kind of have the body. All right. So that being said, he needs arms, so we'll take our paracord, the 550. I like to singe the end a bit so it doesn't fray on me. And here comes the fun part. So this is going to go underneath, over this piece, and then through this hole. So under and then through here and then when you tighten it you've got your straight line and it's going over top that piece right there so once you have that piece in then you can tighten it up nice and tight so this side's tight but this side's loosey-goosey so you need to bring this piece up to hold it in place. And it's just a matter of loosening it up and then wiggling it and then tightening it and wiggling it until it's in place. There we go. And now for the bottom part, same idea. Slide, slide, slide. There. But he's not a super ape, he doesn't need ginormous arms. So we're gonna put his hands. And his hands is just your, your basic loop. And then tighten it. 
try and get the end right flush with the, the cord itself. Nice and tight. A little bit of flame to keep it in place. But not too much because the white will change color pretty quick. I like to have my hands facing down, but you can have them facing up. You can do whatever you want, really. And about a thumb's width or so, depending on what you feel like. So that being said, this is still attached, so let's just cut this here. Get rid of that. And same idea. So I want to have his hands facing down. So I want to try and just maneuver it the way I like. Still a little too long. That seems about okay. Tight, tight. There we go, facing down. Snippy snip. There we go. Now the legs are essentially the same idea, but they tend to give me a bit of a headache because these fingers aren't the smallest. So it's a matter of making a nice tight, tight loop and then shoving it in the end, which is why I've got the little pliers. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. And much like the hands, I kind of like to have the feet if possible, if it's not giving me too much of a headache, to have them facing forward. So it's just a matter of kind of twisting and pulling and convincing it to go a certain way as best you can. That's not bad. Trim off the excess. Same thing, other side. tricky part is trying to make it even. Not too bad. There we go. And again, you can finagle with it as much as you want. Turn the hands any which way you like. You can make this tighter if you want, or looser, taller, shorter, whatever you feel like. But that's essentially what you're doing. All you need now are Lego heads. Drill a hole through the top, 
feed it through. There you go.